Howdy folks, uh, just as I mentioned before, um, I was going to make a follow-up video to my Plex migration. My migration is complete, has been for about two weeks now, two and a half weeks roughly. Um, it did not go as planned. Uh, there were some issues that I ran into where I think because I had been running Plex for so long on my Plex server that I had made a whole bunch of registry changes and tried to like you know copy your registry settings and everything over to the new machine uh, that failed and the error messages that you get from plex are just system fail or fail to load very very basic nothing detailed and there's no logging going on because it was failing to even launch plex so i ended up having to rebuild my entire um media library thumbnails all that stuff it took about a week and a half to completely rebuild all that uh letting it run 24 7 and doing its thing just took a very long time but it is now done successfully migrated over uh though i also ran into some challenges with tdar that i use to uh compress the videos down to 265 um it really didn't like the fact that my smb paths had changed and recognized all the drives as new so basically it had to go through and do health checks of every single thing again and basically run through its whole process which took another week um, just to be able to finish the the health checks and pick up some of the straggler um, things that hadn't been compressed yet so but it is migrated now so these two drives in my um, unraid array are in the unassigned devices these three are actually all unassigned uh, these are the TV, this is the movies. Um, I did set up on my Plex server the cache. Um, the transcode drive is a RAM drive, um, and it's a 64 gig RAM drive. And it, it, everything is working marvelously on the Plex server itself. Um, power usage is way down. I'm actually net using about 70% of the power that I was using before running the same stack, but, you know, in a dedicated Plex server and then, you know, the separate pieces. Now these two are kind of working con concurrently to, uh, you know, provide Plex support. Um, so the SMB shares from here are just passing through Plex and then off to the, you know, the watchers that are uh, on my Plex. Um, I'll pull this out really quick to show you. I... <clears throat> Don't want to pull it out too long or the little Tesla radio card tends to get pretty hot and it doesn't have airflow. So uh, here. Oh, another thing I did also, um, I did replace this drive or the, the holder for the drive for one that has a big aluminum heat sink on it and it also has the um, you know, half height PCI tie down portion of the, you know, the, the, so it's fully secured now. I mean, it, 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 it doesn't move at all. Uh, the other thing I changed out was also the heat sink. Um, saw this come up on eBay and this for the, you know, higher, uh, TDP processors and everything. This one doesn't, wasn't getting really hot before, but it was, a, it was like one of those where it was so cheap. I couldn't not buy it because it was so cheap. I think I paid like 13 or $14 for it shipped and everything. So uh, again, the processor on this machine is a uh, single a Xeon E5 2650L V4. Um, running, it's running great. Uh, there is nothing else running on the Plex server right now other than Plex. I probably will start running TDAR on here as well. Um, uh, in, in the future, now that things are very stable and everything is fine. So, oh yeah, that's getting hot. Um, so, but all in all, it's running great. It's running right now. Um, and it's very quiet. Um, yeah, it's doing a great job. Uh, you know, my, my end users are also, you know, feedback I'm getting from them is that, uh, you know, videos are taking a little bit longer to load initially, which is kind of to be expected because uh, uh, Unraid is spinning down the drives um, 
and you know it's going to take a second to spin them back up and then to be able to read them through and all that good stuff so but all in all everything is working swimmingly um the 10 gig uh, sfp plus connection is there it is uh teamed to the uh a nick a regular gigabit nick there so it will you know, fail over in the event that i need to do any maintenance or anything like that um everything is running um smoothly temperatures are great uh everything is you know doing just fine um the tesla i tested it the other day i got uh, four remote users at one time and then uh six six tablets here at my house and i ran and the remote users were just watching tv shows and movies regular but on the tablets i compressed a 4k video down to 720 um and it performed like a champ no problems whatsoever did great so uh very happy there um you know firm believer that you know, plex does great uh, oh one of the added benefits too is the addition of ilo right so if i do need to power the server down remotely or turn it on remotely or do anything like that i couldn't do that on the old machine it just doesn't have the capacity to do uh, any out of band management. So, uh, that was a, an added plus, uh, to be able to have that flexibility, uh, to be able to troubleshoot and go into the BIOS and change settings and things like that. So, um, while it's still running. So, uh, very, very happy there. Um, yeah, uh, all in all, it's working great. I did also pick up the front bezel. I don't know if I showed you guys that before, but pick up the used one. It's a little bit beat up, but Hey, it works. And it even has the key. So if I wanted to lock it, I could, but I don't think I've ever locked one of those. So, um, but all in all, um, it's working great. So if you guys have any questions, let me know. Talk to you soon.